Hello, I'm Bishop James Walden with the Church of God Mountain Assembly headquarters in Jellico, Tennessee. And today I want to uh, give my testimony about the ordeal, the sickness that I had, the corona uh, last year at the end of July. About July 24th, uh, my dad had passed away from septic shock. And as we was preparing for his funeral, I, I was asked by the family to uh, do the funeral. But before I'd left Jellicoe, I told my wife, Sharon, I said, I don't feel real good. Let me go to the hospital, the urgent care, and see what's going on. We went to Jellicoe Urgent Care about the 26th of July, 27th, and there the doctor had done an x-ray in my chest. We had told him that my dad had passed and I needed to go to Cleveland the next day. And after they'd done the x-ray, the doctor took my wife out to the hall and said, this man is sicker than he thinks and uh, he is not going to any place. So they took me to Methodist Hospital and there in the emergency room within two hours they had spent uh, or done all the oxygen in my body that they could do and they told me to call my family and let them know that I'm going to be put on the vent. And there the doctor had put me on the vent. Oak Ridge Hospital Methodist treated me really good, put me on the vent. And for about 15, 16 days there in the ICU, I spent with my life hanging in the balance. Uh, the doctor had stayed in touch with my family, and my family had done well to stay in touch with all of you people, great people, on Facebook. During that process of that time, my daughter-in-law, Angie, had asked the doctor if she could put a, uh, a CD player in my room in the intensive care unit and put a CD in and the doctor agreed that that would be no problem. There uh, we put my granddaughter Leah singing a worship CD and it played 24-7 the whole time that I was in the intensive care. And I remember coming to from time to time listening to uh, Leah sing uh, those worship songs and I believe that that helped me to pull through because I know the presence of the Lord was there. There were times that whenever the nurse would shake me to make sure that my brain was operating, they would say, this room is different. And, uh, and I knew it was because I'm a true believer that where the Lord is invited, He will come. But where He's worshiped, that's where He's going to stay. And I think it was the atmosphere that was set for my healing. And through the process of, uh, of the 15, 16 days, the doctor had called my son John and informed him at one time that uh, they could do nothing. My blood pressure and my heartbeat was way out of control and they could not control it. The people began to pray and God came through. A couple of days later, I received another call, John did. And of course he shared this with everybody on Facebook that the doctor again said, I know that I've called you and told you this, but this is going to be the end of your dad. And so uh, my daughter-in-law, Angie had fell on her knees and they prayed to the Lord. God sent an angel that had spread its wings over the hospital. Within hours later, Brother Like had called my son and left a message and told John that the Lord had given him a dream. And the dream was that the angel of the Lord was spread over the hospital with his wings. And he encouraged my family 
that he felt because of the dream that everything was going to be all right, not knowing that Angie had prayed for that just hours later. But we know that God always confirms and answers prayer. And so the next uh, few days, uh, I get started getting better and things was turning around. Then they had found out that I was not responding to some uh, things that they had asked me to respond to. And so uh, the doctor said, we're gonna have to put him back on the mat. And the Lord had given uh, Angie, my daughter-in-law, uh, some wisdom and knowledge there to check my blood. And uh, when they checked my blood, they found out that I'd developed a leak during this whole process. And that I'd lost about four units of blood. And it was going to my, the leak uh, was going to my thighs. And there the, um, the doctor started giving me blood and things started coming back. And the bleed, people prayed for the bleed and the bleed stopped. And so that was a miracle that God had performed during that time. And as days went on, uh, developed uh, blood clots in my thighs, 34 of them that had destroyed some of the nerves in my thighs. And uh, But since then, with the help of the Lord, the doctors are totally amazed today that I am walking without a wheelchair or a walker or a cane and that my progress is, where it is better than they anticipated. And God had sent me some good people that would come um, to the hospital. Uh, one pastor in particular come every day and prayed. We had others that come from Kentucky and that. They came down for a few hours, just sat in the parking lot and prayed. And the devil thought that he was going to destroy the ministry that God had placed in my heart but God was not ready to release me from this earth. And because he had called me to do a certain uh, vision, to fulfill a certain vision, and that vision wasn't fulfilled yet. But when I left the hospital, these was the words that come to my mind. Is death, where's your sting? Grave, where's your victory? The devil intended me to be in the ground, shipped off in a hearse but the Lord had other plans. When the doctors gave up, the church intensified their prayer like they did with the uh, great apostle Peter. Whenever he came and knocking on the door after he'd been in prison, they thought they'd never see him again. But the church prayed and God delivered Peter out of the prison. And he was uh, the one that went and preached the great message. And I'm sharing with you my testimony because I believe in miracles. 75 days in the hospital and God brought me out. God brought me out of that terrible virus. And as the years progress, I've been able to do more for the Lord. Doctors don't always have the right answer. They try their best, but the ultimate answer is up to God. When I went and visited the heart doctor, which was a good Christian doctor, and he seen, and he told me, he said, you know, we could do all that God gives us the ability to do, but there are some things, life and death is not in our hands. It's in the hands of the Lord. And he said that up to that point, whenever I went and seen him, that I was the only person that as bad as I was, was able to pull out of it. And I believe it's because of the faithful prayer of my brothers and sisters, not only with the Church of God Mountain Assembly, but other organization and around the world. TCT stopped the program and had the world pray for me and God pulled me through. And I am so thankful today for the many blessings of God. I was miss my dad's funeral, miss my dad very much, but uh, we know that he's in a better place and we're going to carry the ministry and the work of the Lord until the Lord is done with us. And I can hear him say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Thank you all for your many prayers and the faith that you had in God that brought me where I am. And I want to thank my family for staying with me. 
they had missed their churches, come down to Tennessee and help the wife and kept me going as well. And I want to just say thank you. God bless you is my prayer.